Hi all, I have a very exciting game to show you today. It was an exhibition game between between uh, Skvortsov, so Oleg Skvortsov against Vichy Anand playing black. So it was at the Zurich Chess Challenge, 12th of April 2017. Rate of play, Skvortsov has 40 minutes plus 20 seconds a move. Vichy Anand has 20 minutes plus 20 seconds a move. So let's see. E4, E5, knight f3, knight c6, classic stuff so far. C3 here. So this is uh, piano territory, <coughs> kind of main line. Uh, knight f6, d4 takes. Now, usually here in live book, c takes is the main move. This is slightly innovative, b4. Bishop plots back, e5. Now d5, e takes, d takes. So this position is pretty interesting. Check, bishop e6, b5. White's well, trying to get control of the dark squares here. And now a very interesting move in this position. Knight b4. With this move, well, the immediate threat to potentially you know play a check but this is interrupted this threat with f takes g7 uh, just to give you an idea if if the knight's taken though queen takes it's quite interesting that d3 with you know this diagonal this position is apparently slightly better for black technically so okay that's uh ignored for the moment f takes g7 hitting the rook c takes and now queen f6 uh, we have here white castling. Queen takes g7, threatening mate. That's parried. Black castles, queenside. a4. d3. So looking at the rook over there. Queen b2. And now, guess what was played in this position? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, you might have intuitively thought this G file is dangerous. Queen takes G3 check. Clearly, if the king moves, then it's over with Queen G2, mate. So, pinned pawn there. We have a couple of pawns and a piece, but now black is threatening check and to mate with rook G8. So, we have here Bishop G5 blocking that G file. Perhaps the best move would have been Queen G7, stopping this Rook G8. A continuation like this, check. Bishop D4 trying to evict the Queen. Persisting, persistent in trying to stop Rook G8. Trying to chase the Queen. This continuation might actually technically be okay for whites, even <laughs> technically a small advantage. But uh, it's it's a strange position. It's a strange dynamic here. Very strange with these pawns and and the bishops like that. Uh, white <laughs> rook up. That's a weird position. Uh, but uh, okay, bishop g5 was played here. We have now bishop d4 stopping any queen g7 for the moment. Queen d2, rook g8. Yeah, and this bishop is kind of. If it moves, then that's big trouble. So it's supported by the queen. Rook a3, but now h6. White seems pretty helpless here, actually. What is white doing in this position? Rook g1. We have the rook h3 check. King g2. Rook takes g5 check. King f1. Now, can you guess the final sequence? What does black play here? If I give you five seconds to pause the video, can you see a finishing sequence? Okay. 
Rook takes g1, dragging and dropping the king. <laughs> Bishop d5, threatening mate. And this pawn is pinned, of course. And this pawn is covering the escape square. So this is actually mating whatever happens, really. Uh, white tokenly played rook a1 and resigned. If king f1, this escape square is taken. So rook h1 is checkmate. Yeah, <laughs> a very interesting exhibition game, uh, indeed. Uh, I think you'll agree, quite a nice queen set there. Behind the scenes, yeah, technically maybe white could have held the balance with queen g7. It's a nice coordination of pieces against the white king there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that one. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.